Whenever we start teaching a new topic, you know, the question that always comes to us from children is, uh, why are you teaching this topic to us? Uh, how will it be useful in the real world? And the same question really applies to fractions. I mean, you know, children are very comfortable with integers. Um, and then they say, look, you know, why are you introducing these numbers which come and sit between integers? I mean, integers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, you know, the very nice numbers. Then what is the real need for having uh, these numbers which sit between integers? The motivation, of course, for fractions from the real world uh, are lots. There are lots and lots of uh, motivations. Uh, let's sort of three, give three broad categories of, uh, of, of uh, applications. One is in the space of measurement. So imagine you're cooking, right? You're cooking some dish and uh, the dish says that you should be putting one tenth of a tablespoon of salt into the dish. Uh, and somebody comes and says, you know, I don't really like fractions. I won't put one upon 10. I will just put one tablespoon of salt into the dish. Now, the difference between one tenth of uh, a tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of salt uh, could be the difference between something that tastes very nice and something that is just too salty to taste nice. Another category is um, actually sharing, right? Sharing mechanisms. So imagine a situation where you have three equally sized pieces of cake uh, and these have to be shared amongst two children. Now you'll give one piece of cake each uh, and then the remaining piece of cake, you have no option but to cut it in half uh, and give one of the children one, of the, one half of the piece uh, and give the other half uh, to the other child. So both the children ended up, end up with one and a half pieces of cake uh, rather than just one piece of cake each. The third motivation can come from, uh, let's say, real world commercial considerations. So imagine I have a hundred uh, units of money and I go to the bank and I say I will deposit hundred units of money with you. Uh, what rate of interest will you give me? Um, and the bank can give you sort of two options. It might say, like, you, lo you like integers, so I'll only give you six units of interest on the money that you deposit. Uh, but our actual interest is actually six and a half units, right? Um, so you, what would you prefer? Of course, you would prefer six and a half units instead of just six units, uh, because a year later, after you've deposited a hundred units, uh, uh, you would get uh, 106.5 units back rather than just 106 units. Uh, so when, when one begins uh, teaching fractions, um, it's, it's, it's quite sensible and useful to actually uh, really flesh out uh, these uh, real world applications to children so that they get a sense of the utility or the usefulness of having these numbers uh, that come and sit between integers.